Hey guys, this is my review video of the Primal Strength Glute Ham Developer um, that also doubles up as a hip thruster bench. Um, it's a little bit different from a normal Glute Ham Developer as in it's really low down to the ground. It takes up a really small footprint and to add to that, it's got these little wheels on the back so you can tip the machine up so it can go up against the wall. Um, it takes up very little space. It's perfect for a small garage gym like this. It's uh, it's uh, really well constructed, well made. Um, let's go over a few of the features. It's got this dome here, which is super hard. Um, it's got a knee pad there with the Primal Strength logo. It's got adjustable pins so you can move this up and down and pins so you can pull it backwards and forwards. Foot plate's really hard, thick metal. Um, you can do loads of exercises on this so you can do hip thrusts, um, the GHD, main GHD movement, you can do Nordic drops. You can also do some single leg, um, single leg squats on it. I'm, I'll demo a few of the movements. Um, Overall, I'm really pleased with this. This is a fantastic machine. I think it's after a squat rack. This is probably the second most important bit of kit to get for a garage gym. Um, this one's perfect. If you see my old GHD there, it's quite high up and I've got quite low ceilings. So this makes a lot better uh, use of the space. So I'll demo a few movements on it. If you want to add banded resistance, it's it's small enough and mobile enough to fit inside a, a squat rack. And if you have band pegs, you can just lay the band pegs across and set a band over your hips. The other good thing about setting it inside a squat rack is if you need assistance with the GHD movement, you can put the band over the top of the squat rack and put it around your chest and it will help you come up from the GHD. 